Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Perlstein, and I'd like to talk to you about emotional intelligence. Not that many people know about emotional intelligence. We don't learn about our emotions in school as kids. We learn more about logic, and we learn more about information, and we learn how to get a job, and some good logical things that we need to know. But we don't learn about our right brain, our ability to feel, our senses, our communications, our what's happening inside of us. We find out about all kinds of things happening outside, but not so much inside. What we're finding is that this is making this kind of training is making huge effects on people, not only um, personally, but also professionally, and also uh, in the military, in government, in criminal justice, and mental health. In so many areas, are being affected because we don't know how to deal with our feelings, and we can train. Uh, train. They are teachable skills and we can learn these very quickly and very profoundly. So three sections to EQ. There is A, awareness, telling you now that you can be in charge of your own thoughts and your own feelings and your actions. If you can come to grips with that, then you can accept step two, accept that they are yours and that you can control them. And thirdly is it's taking some action or not. Sometimes it's not a good idea to act on your feelings. A lot of times it's better to deal with them in a little different way. And the actions give us power and they give us uh, freedom and they give us choices. So you learn about emotional intelligence, learn about yourself and then share it with others, express it to other people, ask them, have you ever heard of the term emotional intelligence? Do you know that you can be in charge of your thoughts and your feelings? and help us spread the word so we can change the world from the inside out. That was, right that was much better.